Welcome to Electro Online. Now what we're going to try to do is find a point on a plane given the general form of the equation of the plane. How do we do that? Well, what we can be guaranteed of is that of course that point will have an x, a y, and a z coordinate and if you pick any two of the three, you give a value to any of two of the three, you can find the third one and that will be a point. You want to find a different point, you do it again and again as many times as you like to find as many points as you like. So let's try that. So we're given the general equation right here of the plane. We have the perpendicular vector to the plane, which of course you don't need once you have the general equation because 4, 2, and negative 5 are of course the magnitudes of the components of the perpendicular vector. So let's say that we're going to let x equals 1 and y equals 2. We then plug that into the general form to solve for the third variable z. So let's do that. So we have 4 times 1 plus 2 times 2 minus 5 times z minus 23 is equal to 0. So plugging everything else, um, well simplifying that, so we have minus 5z is equal to, bring 23 across, we get plus 23 minus 4 and minus 4. So we have minus 5z is equal to 23 minus 8, which is 15, which means that z is equal to negative 3. So if x equals 1, y equals 2, then z equals negative 3. So one point that we found, let's call it point 1, has the components 1, 2, and negative 3. All right, let's try another point. So let x, well, let's try y equals, um, how about negative 1? or let's call it, now let's call it 1, and z equals negative 3. Let's try that. Okay, let's see what that comes out to. So again, we plug that into the equation, so we get 4x plus 2 times y, that 2 times 1, minus 5 times a minus 3, minus 23 is equal to 0. So here we get 4x is equal to, bring the 23 across, we get 23, uh, minus 2, and um, minus times a minus, that's plus, that would be minus 15. And so we get 4x is equal to 23, minus 2, that's 21, minus 15, that would be, I think, 4, right? That's 17, no, 6. So let's see, that would be equal to 6. Let's try it again. So with 23, uh, that would be minus 15, that's 8, minus 2, that's um, 6, for, so we get x equals 1.5. All right, and that means that our second point that we found has coordinates, 1.5, and then we picked 1 and negative 3. There we go, and that's how we find any number of points on the plane. Of course, to find a specific point, that's a different story because that we don't know, we don't know what x, y, and z are, but if you plug in any two values for x, y, and z, you can calculate the third using the general form of the equation, and so you can always pick a point on the plane, and sometimes that's a necessary thing in order to figure some things out. So this is how we do that, and we'll show you some examples how it can be employed in some other things later on, and that is how it's done.